Greetings, fellow adventurers. Well, Bill here. I am on my first solo trip with this van as a camper. Now, I didn't quite get everything I wanted to get done for the trip. Uh, two days ago, our basement flooded, our sump pump seized up, and we had a couple inches of water everywhere. So, Stacy and I have been working hard on that, just cleaning up, replacing the sump pump, trying to dry things out, assess the damages, get a hold of our insurance agent. Of course, everything happens on a Sunday when nothing's open, right? Well, the good thing is Stacy works at Costco. She was able to call the night crew at about 6 a.m. on a Sunday morning when nothing else was open and got them to help us out by selling us a wet dry vac and a big fan, a big blower fan. So that started the process. We were bailing. We were doing everything. We were dumping that wet dry vac in the toilet, uh, just trying to clear that water out as fast as possible. So that took up a couple of the days that I actually had had planned on trying to finalize storage, kitchen, things like that for the camper van. I had to make a decision. Do I go or do I scrub the trip? Well, I decided to wing it and go and you know, pretty much anything I may have forgotten or still needed or run into a problem with, I could probably stop anywhere along the trip and pick it up. Uh, Dollar General, Walmart, something like that, Kroger, whatever I need. So I've got the basics. I've got the things I need. I've packed up the van. Uh, I'll show you here in just a minute uh, the video of that, loading it up and how it's set up right now. It's very minimal. It's very basic. But you know what? It works. It was so windy out. I have a dead cat on uh, my microphone. Let me show you. I actually, have, I actually have one of those nice little dead cats. I made a video and when I went to play it back, even with the dead cat on, it's so windy out here right now that it was crazy, crazy bad. And I did not want to release that video before I left with that horrible audio. I'll be stopping tonight somewhere around Louisville, Kentucky range, give or take an hour. And at that point, I'll get the laptop out and I'll work on well, this video that includes this right here as the intro up and onto YouTube to show you how I've packed for this mini trip. And like I said, it's not complete, it's not ready, but it's it's good enough to go with, so that's what I'm doing. And uh, I'm gonna go down to Clarksdale, Mississippi and see a big blues festival that my brother Dickie is playing at. Also, Kingfish will be there. If you know Kingfish, type in Kingfish Guitar on YouTube, you'll find him. If you wanna see my brother play, type in Dickie James on YouTube and you'll find a video or two of his. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun down there. Gonna go see a bunch of music and have a blast and use the camper van. I found one place that's $10 a night that includes bathrooms as well as electrical hookup and even sewer hookup, but I don't need that. But um, yeah, along the way, I'm gonna stop every couple hours. I've got a Planet Fitness uh, membership. So if I feel like getting a little massage chair in, or if I feel like just using washroom, or if I feel like just stretching my legs because I've been in the car for a couple hours, go walk on the treadmill or something. So Planet Fitness are, are kind of mapped out on the Google My Maps trip for me. I've got a nice little list and I can see all the Walmarts and the Costco's and the, you know, the Planet Fitnesses, things like that. The Speedway gas stations, all those fun things I've mapped into my My Maps chart so I can see it on the trip down to Clarksdale, Mississippi. Now I'm coming from like Ann Arbor, Michigan area and it's showing about a 12 hour drive. So I'm gonna probably take about six, seven hours off that drive, end up somewhere around Louisville, Kentucky possibly, give or take a little bit, find somewhere, Cracker Barrel, Walmart, maybe even a Planet Fitness to kind of call it a night, have some dinner, work on this video, get it up tonight late, and I will be doing some updates during the trip and on my way home and all that kind of stuff just to share with you this first trip experience. I'll let you know how it is sleeping in the van for the first time. I think it's gonna be very comfortable. My bed is very comfortable. I've got plenty of bedding. I even have a little extra bedding because the weather is showing that it might get down into the 40s. So if I need that little extra, I've got one extra blanket. I've even got my CPAP with me. I've got a little bit of everything. So join me and uh, go on this little adventure with me and hopefully everything goes smooth. So this is our 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan. 
it is ready for a very quick trip. In the door, I've got a couple accessories. I've got a little key bottle thing. Got my Clorox wipes. I've got my tissue. I've got my water bottle. Got a little iPhone and an iPad holder. Got a little stupid car tray. That's what it's called. It works really good, actually. Got my little fan up there on the top. Got a couple pillows. I got my bed. I got a dresser going there. Underneath, I've got a Progeny 500 watt battery pack. And I've got the Alpicool C20 going. Got the little dresser in the back. I've got all my little accessories there in the back of the seat. Got another little battery there. That's a 300 watter Progeny as well with a wireless charger on top. Very nice. This is my little cockpit area there. Got my little garbage can. I love that fan, by the way. I'll have that linked below on Amazon. Great fan. There's my little dresser. Got a little carbon monoxide detector, a little bit of air freshener back there. Got all my pillows. Of course, I've got my six inch foam mattresses on both sides. So it's 48 wide by 70 long bed. I've got another one of the stupid car tray back in the back. And I've actually put my CPAP on it. Works great. I love those things, those stupid car trays. That's the name of it. I love it. Got a couple little different pillows. Stacy picked those out on Amazon. I'll put the links below if you go and check them out. She loves that kind of stuff. She likes to decorate. She put an extra blanket on there. Let's see, what do we got in the back? We've got a little bit of everything back here. And I apologize, it's a little bit messy. Now, I don't have a sink set up yet or anything like that, so I just have water bottles. And let's see, is Stacy gonna go down there and show us the water and stuff underneath? I think she's trying to just show us the CPAP and how everything else fits in the car. There we go. I've got some water bottles down there. I actually have a couple jugs of water. The one on the left is grape juice, uh, just grape, grape drink. I have a beat it there, which is a jump starter for your car. And in that cardboard box, I've got a little bit of everything from a stop leak to a fire extinguisher to uh, bug spray to wasp spray. I've got tons of storage under the bed that I'm not even using. I've got a big lawn chair there on the right. That's a double extra large. There's a little emergency potty, which I really don't plan on using because I have all these Planet Fitnesses along the route so I could stop anytime I wanted to. Uh, also got a bag of clothes back there. I'm actually using locks where the seats would normally go into the floor, and then I'm running those locks through my handles of my battery packs. Now, I know this isn't like top security or anything, but hey, you know what? If it slows them down, cool. It's a deterrent, that's all. Well, I didn't make it to Louisville. I made it to Florence, Kentucky. Ended up being a pretty bad accident on the expressway. I sat on the expressway in park for at least 50 minutes waiting for everything to get cleared. So I hope everybody who was involved in that is okay. And by the time that I passed, there was just wreckage all over the road and tow trucks and firemen and police cars. So something pretty bad happened. So it kind of delayed me a little bit. Um, I punched into Google Maps the closest Planet Fitness and found it here in Florence. It's a beautiful dual level Planet Fitness. I came in, I used the bathroom, I used the massage table, and then I got in about a 20 minute walk on the treadmill, which is all good for me because sitting in the car was really kind of driving me crazy. And when I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna go to the back of the lot here and crash. When I get up in the morning, I'll uh, get a workout in, take a shower, and head off on my way down towards Clarksdale, Mississippi. Uh, I think I have another eight hours to go about. So uh, I'm gonna do my best to just 
keep on trucking and keep on moving. Hopefully the traffic will be good and the weather will be good. And uh, I'll probably get another five, six hours in, get closer down to like Memphis area, maybe Louisville. And then on Thursday is the first day of the festival. I'm hoping to get into town somewhere around noon, one o'clock, something like that. Maybe grab some groceries. I got a couple things in the freeze in the fridge right now uh, that I've been nibbling on, keeping me going. But uh, so far, so good, and enjoying the trip. So we will catch you all tomorrow.